99 Mookie Betts is in the game. He is the new collection award similar to that 99 Mariana Rivera collection, except Mookie is a lot more difficult to obtain, need a lot more players, and at this point in the game as of today, it is a fair amount of stubs. I'm going to go through all the tips and how you guys can get Mookie, whether you're going for it today or you're waiting a little while to get it done over the long run. I'm going to give you some general pointers that I like to take whenever I'm going for collections like this, and just good pointers to help you guys out for the long run. And finally, let's go through all all the steps required to get bets for yourself. Let's get into it. So as you see in my inventory, I'm basically finishing up here. I made some investments during the flash sale. Right now there is a flash sale. I'll talk about that a little later in here. And basically I'm making some investments on players and that'll basically get me finished. I need one more milestone player. And I need one more word series player. So I'm looking really good right now. There's a lot of things that go into being efficient and getting this collection done. Being smart with your stubs choosing the right collections to complete, buying players at the right time, and overall just being patient and taking your time. This collection is difficult to earn as of right now, today. It's a grind. If you haven't been playing the game all the time, you don't have a big inventory, it'll cost you a pretty penny. So I wouldn't overly anticipate trying to get this done right now, just because at this point in the game, this collection is a little bit of a grind, but that's okay. If you're someone who plays the game consistently enough, build up your inventory, you'll get this done. As you see, I basically have this done day one, and I will have it done day one at that rate. So first of all, let's just go through each collection. I'm going to bundle them into about groups of three because there are kind of three main groups in terms of difficulty to complete. And I'm going to give you guys the tips on how you can earn the players and get these done. First, we have postseason veteran, all-star, rookie, and breakout. The concept of these, a lot of these players are earned through the BR programs. They're cheap flashbacks on the market. There are a lot more silver, bronze, and gold flashbacks in the game of these types. So you can buy them for cheaper, earn them for free in the BR program. I recommend you guys go through that also if you are someone who had been playing a game doing things like those evo programs in your dailies will give you those lower overall versions doing your team affinity and live series collections will give you some diamond and gold versions of them it's a combination of all those things if you've been playing the game a good amount you should be very close to if not done with those five at least those are kind of the must do collections for sure then we have our middle of the road collections tops now future stars prospects monthly awards and second half heroes again some of these have br team affinity um as you see with our future stars here a lot of these are earned through team affinity some of them are henchmen and inning programs br flashbacks that they add in the programs multiple avenues you may have to spend a good amount of subs to get the last few of these but i just recommend earning as many free ones as possible do team affinity season two for a lot of future stars and only buy the couple you need tops now you have a bunch of moments you do this by just playing the game that and the monthly awards are kind of linked together if you do your top sound moments, you may as well grind the monthly award programs. Key is with the monthly awards, you can't do it right now. Day one, two, you can't get it done. And Thursday this week when they drop the next monthly award program, this will be doable and it'll be an easy one to get out of the way. It just kind of takes some time to grind that out in the game. Prospect cards. You can either buy all 30 of the gold prospects on the market for 4 to 5k and then buy the last few you need that are diamonds. This is about 200k, give or take if my math serves me correct. Not a bad one to do or you can earn them for free in the US Conquest map, which doesn't take too long to get and only buy a couple of them for like no more than 20k and then your second half hero are a few expensive ones but you don't have to get the expensive ones again doing team affinity br programs will give you a good amount of them picking up the cheap players on the market like jd martinez all those cheap players in those space and kitchen sink packs will make your life a lot easier live series collections as well all these things kind of contribute i had plenty of extra with these and it wasn't really much of a concern then finally the most difficult ones to we'll start off with prime here a lot of these prime ones aren't super duper expensive but there just aren't many in the game so many of them hold their price Guys like Dibbler, Stupid Expensive, Jake McGee, Matt Harvey. They're like limited quantity players. So the key thing I recommend is get your free ones like Zach Britton, Mark Pryor, and your team affinity all done. Pick up the cheap headliner ones like Plesak. Dibble will eventually go down during flash sales if you're smart. And just like try to earn as many of them for free. You were able to get this Harvey and BR programs. You will be able to do this for more. And you can get the free one in the daily programs with that Evo program for Joe Nathan. Six series, there are less in the game than Prime cards but there are enough and they're gonna keep adding more remember there are two free ones in the daily program this month plus the previous whitey ford one down here you evo those cards in the daily programs and you will get three of these for free then you're gonna have to likely buy a few if you don't have chipper jones 
You have to buy an extra one instead of getting Poppy, but I recommend just getting Chipper Jones done before even doing this. And then you have to buy a fair bit. Like these guys are cheap, like Rizzo, Santana, Bane's got super cheap. And just buying these players in the market, it is expensive though. It'll be like probably 400, 500K if you're just buying them, give or take. That's just a rough guesstimate. So this one is a difficult one. You may want to consider skipping. Kind of like our Prime series. Our award series is almost in the same boat. There are more of them than the Prime cards and the Sig series. And there are a fair amount of lower ones. And the key for this one is picking up these cheap ones. You want to pick up these lower overall cheaper cards at that lower price point and it'll really help you again getting your free ones on ta2 and your daily programs like nelson cruz edgar brandon webb joe tory tory hunter will be a good chunk again having chipper jones will help you but the key thing is picking up the cheap ones so you don't have to buy many expensive ones a lot of these higher end ones are a little bit more stubbages you have to pay more it's gonna cost you it is one worthy of of skipping as well milestone is like awards there are a lot more some are very cheap some are very expensive that price window is very big with these ones just like award series the keys you want to pick up the cheap ones on the market especially while they are at a cheaper price you're gonna want to really be smart with getting free to earn ones in team affinity trying to complete say br programs and doing your best to stash onto guys maybe stash onto a boss like chrissy matthews and overall it's a take a little bit of grinding to get one of these done and i think milestone awards prime are all in that same boat where they're kind of difficult to earn but they really are doable and they're not really dependent on any other pack on the market so it's the kind of thing you could do it at whatever pace and time you want it's just gonna take the same amount of subs usually for the grand scheme of it all then our 42 series gotta complete all of team affinity one get all 30 42 series cards in there then you have to end up buying 10 cards on the market. Right now they're 30K, so 300K. So that is somewhat consistent. It is going cheaper. It'll likely get cheaper once they add these packs. So whenever you see a 42 series pack in the game, that is likely your window to buy these dudes and I recommend buying them then. But some people mess up and don't have this done. So I wanna include this in the harder bunch because some people actually choose two cards or to do something to mess it up, which is fine. This is one that you may have to skip though. And then finally, I think the most difficult one in the game right now, the Shohei Otani one. A lot of people don't have this at this point. If you don't have Shohei, you gotta get all 30 Team Affinity Season 1. Or at least you don't have to, but you probably do want to do that. All 30 Team Affinity Season 3, you're gonna want to get those done. In case you don't have Otani at this point, you have to get all 30 Team Affinity Season 3. It's a little bit of a grind, but it's not impossible. It is somewhat doable. TA3 is the easiest one to grind. It's a lot more quick. If you were someone who played that all-star content that first week and you did it, you probably have it all done. You got Mr. Acuna, which saves you on one of the expensive players you need to buy. Once you do all 30 team affinity, you want to complete that Ronald Acuna player program, give you that one free player. And then you got to go to the market. You got to either buy these players or get lucky in those home run derby and all-star game packs that are available. There are going to be points like those 42 series where these packs fluctuate. So whenever the pack is available in the game, whether it's a flash sale, in a conquest map, in an event, wherever it is, and when people are starting to get those packs, you're going to see their prices go down, and that's going to be the window you want to get them in. Make sure you capitalize when those prices start to drop. Buy them at that cheaper price. It'll save you a lot of stubs. Players like Vlad are over 200k. So if you can do anything to save on that number, that's big. If anyone's going to drop down quicker, it's going to be Real Muto and Lin. They are the middle tier, so when that pack is available, they'll drop down a lot lower than that 90k and probably be right around the price as a normal pack and that is a great time to pick up on those and again just make sure you get as many free ones as possible or the cheap ones like jock peterson is 13k the cheaper you get these cards the more subs you save the easier it makes the, the more you save up on these players the less subs you spend obviously you could spend those subs for other collections so if you can bang out this collection while it's not spending too many stubs, you'll probably overall be fine. You just gotta be smart. And then those are all of the collections. I know that was probably a mouthful. I don't wanna sound redundant with the advice I'm giving you. So I wanna point out a few final points and good pointers to help you guys with getting this done because I've been playing this game all year. And a lot of these players I bought for cheap. First of all, you're gonna wanna keep an eye out on the market. 
The market's kind of like a real life stock market. It has its ups and its downs. Keep an eye out on the market and keep an eye out on the prices of players. You will see there will be times where a lot of players are overall down in price. Whenever there was big content like the Team Affinity Season 3 and all of that all-star content that week, a lot of players were really cheap. And especially when those home run derby and all-star packs were available, those players were available initially at that point. I scooped up a lot of those players right away while they were at that cheaper price. When there are no packs of that player being added, players should overall keep going up. So the overall trend with the market, whenever there are big content drops and people are selling out players to get the new things, that's your time to scoop up players. So you're going to want to try to buy those players at that cheaper price. A lot of those milestone SIG cards I bought at like 20k because a lot of people were selling them during that point. They weren't collecting them at that point. This is way before the collection was announced. So people started to sell and just started to clear house, which made it a lot easier for me because I had extra stubs. And I spent those stubs buying them for cheap. So what I recommend to you guys, keep an eye out on the market. Keep an eye out on when things are high and when they're low and choose that good time to buy them. If you buy these players this week or especially today, You'll see a lot of them are going to be pretty expensive. Yes, there is a flash sale today, which will kind of balance out things, make things cheaper. But overall, you know, buying these players at a cheaper price is big. Speaking of flash sales, whenever there is a flash sale, I know it's tempting to go out and buy packs. I get that. But the smart thing to do, buy these players now. Right now, the kitchen sink pack is on sale and you see these players are like 40k. Um, these dudes were 60k just earlier today. And one thing you want to keep an eye out on, whenever there's a flash sale announcement on MLB The Show's Twitter, that's your time where you hopefully have subs built up and you buy these players then. I just bought my last couple milestone players during this flash sale, basically got me all the way done. And I'm gonna let the last couple players done in the other series too. Buying these players during the flash sale and being patient and smart with your stubs is really big. You buy these players at that peak price point like earlier today is gonna hurt you and just being patient and waiting for the right time to buy players is gonna help you a lot more. If you are confused on when this stuff kind of happens, feel free to stop by my Twitch, ask me over there. If you think now is a good time to buy and I'll definitely answer your questions because this kind of thing changes out throughout the week with the flash sales and the market moving up and down. If this was not made abundantly clear, get as many free to earn players as possible. Do your team affinity. If you're really trying to get this done and you're playing this game enough, do all three seasons of team affinity. They'll give you players that give you progress towards it. No, it sounds redundant, but it's better just take the time. You earn stubs by doing that. You could earn those stubs for other players and just build up your inventory. Instead of just being impatient, skipping out on Team Affinity and just buying extra players. It's just not worth the money, the time, and the, the amount of work you need to put in just to get extra stubs. Just play the stuff for free and will help you a lot. Doing your Battle Royale programs, which a lot of people really sleep on, will help you a bit. And overall, I have other tip videos on the channel that will likely help you completing this stuff. I don't want to sound redundant, giving you guys information. I hope everything that I explained to you guys in this video was beneficial to you. I know the collection seems like a lot, and as of today, it seems very difficult. But I said this with the Mo collection, it definitely was true. As the weeks go on, it'll be easier and easier to deal with all the free to earn cards in the game, or just cheap players you're able to buy. So I just recommend to you guys, just be patient, do bit by bit and just no matter how far you're at, baby steps, you know? This is not meant for everyone to complete day one. That's perfectly fine. So how far are you to Mookie Best? What do you think of the collection? WRL? Definitely let me know in the comments section. Definitely like the video if you enjoyed and learned something new. But that's going to be it for this. Good luck getting Mookie. I'll be debuting him tomorrow on the stream. So make sure you stop by the stream then. And we'll give him a go and see how much he's really worth it. But you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you all again on the next video. This is.